Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session. We have the 24th of August, the Friday, uh, bringing you a, a session or give you an insight really into the European markets for Friday's trading session. So uh, please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and download the app by the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay then, so uh, looking at the uh, stats here now in terms of uh, European markets, uh, we have the FTSE finishing up 14 points, DAX higher, CAC higher, FTSE MIB higher. Now the main story uh, was uh, lead oil. The European markets certainly led higher to a large extent by news that Mr. Trump is buying um, Italian bonds. Uh, again, that's not exactly considered to be bullish from my perspective. It's actually considered to be bearish given the fact that Mr. Trump now is meddling in European affairs. And we all know that obviously Italy has a very uh, hard extremist right wing sort of strand on immigration. So again, that's going to sow more political discord in Europe. And Mr. Trump is certainly playing them off each other. In terms of the CAC, obviously finishing higher helped uh, in, in, in terms of the, the dollar index certainly being perceived as being dovish from my understanding. Uh, the Fed Chair Powell certainly uh, defended great heights and therefore that's considered to be b bullish for the dollar, hawkish to the dollar. So that's considered to be hawkish for the dollar and therefore that's all inadvertently that's bearish for US indices. indices. That's my interpretation from that perspective anyway. Okay, so uh, also Mr. Trump's ongoing uh, spat with China certainly considered to be negative given the fact that the uh, talks uh, yielded nothing whatsoever. So again, that was certainly risk negative. In terms of the uh, data front, we had uh, German GDP numbers coming in more or less in line. Uh, Mr. Powell, obviously, like I said, is hawkish. Uh, durable goods orders certainly missed expectations as well. So again, uh, certainly is a negative from that perspective. But yet, the markets continue to uh, certainly uh, move higher. Again, really astounded, certainly dumbstruck, certainly surprised from that perspective, but certainly looking for a bearish outcome. S&P 500 certainly currently hinges at a key level. As you can see here, the daily chart is into that double top now. Uh, do we have the catalyst for this index to push higher? I certainly can't see that for one. Okay, certainly can't see that happening from my perspective, given the fact of Chinese concerns, uh, hawkish concerns from the Fed. Okay, ongoing concerns in Italy, Turkey situation still at the background, Venezuela contagion as well, emerging markets, etc., etc., etc. Uh, and the list goes on. That's basically what, I, what I'd argue for. But yet the market certainly has ignored all bearish arguments thus far. Now let's look at a technical picture in terms of the German DAX. German DAX holding key resistance here at 12,430. Okay, you've got an unfilled gap left behind. Certainly needs to close, given the fact that the S&P now is into key resistance. Watch out there. Uh, the daily chart of the German DAX, again, we're still in that bearish territory. Obviously, the ongoing concerns regarding Turkish contagion. Uh, and obviously now we've got this situation with regards to Italian bonds and the immigration spat as well, given the fact that there's no conclusion. So watch out there. There is that unfilled gap below in the German DAX around the 11,950. So watch out below. Okay, euro uh, still is trading above 1.16, which in turn hurts exports. So that certainly is risk negative from a currency perspective. In terms of the French CAC, let's look at this. Again, we've uh, into previous support equal resistance. We do have an unfilled gap at 5503. And then obviously you've got resistance above at 5530, but very unlikely to be closed given the ongoing concerns that we've discussed. Okay, bear that in mind. Especially if the S&P puts in a double top there and starts to reverse low. Okay, now the FTSE 100 has been trading this bear flag ever since in the daily chart. We've consolidated below the 7610 zone, and therefore one would argue that's certainly bearish from that perspective. 60 minute chart, again, we've been holding that key resistance at 7610. So you are still looking at lower lows and lower highs, even with US indices hitting that double top. So that certainly is even more bearish, especially given the fact that we've got no deal uh, Brexit scenario certainly being the uh, overwhelming theme at present. Okay, if we do push high, then you are looking at 7600. And then 7615 as being resistance with support below now up to 7530. So watch out there. Okay, that's basically where we're oscillating, really, folks. Okay, oscillating on the foot between 7615, 7530, 7515, and the SP now is hinging at that key, key, key resistance zone. Okay, so I think that's a good summation, really. Uh, again, Chinese negative, FOMC or the, or the Fed, certainly hawkish. Two killer combinations for the S&P 500 to roll over. But again, it's the American market. It really has baffled me in terms of this rally thus far. And the rally continues regardless, especially with regards to Mr. Trump's impeachment now as well. I mean, that's the factor that I've not even obviously touched upon with regards to Manafort and Cohen as well being uh, obviously charged and, and now guilty. Uh, so again, that certainly is uh, another political uh, whirlwind that should technically be risk negative as well, especially going into the midterm elections with regards to Mr. Trump. So... The uh, so-called uh, musical chairs party continues. Nevertheless, please be sure to visit uh, Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers. Goodbye.